All right. So in this video, we will cover how to use Vim editor on Linux environment to work with the files and perform some basic operations like creating the file and modifying the file. Okay. Search and replacement within the file. And if you want to work with the multiple files at the same time on the, on your Linux console and how you can compare two files. So let's get started. Okay. So first let's start with the very basic, like how to create a file on Linux environment. Okay. Before that you need to decide like in which location you want to create your file. You can use PWD command present working directory to check in which location you are currently in. For example, I am under the root and tutorials. Suppose I need to create files in this location. Okay. Then it's okay. You can use ls command to check how many files are currently present in this location. Suppose I need to create my own new file with name my file. So I just need to use vim and my file. Before that, vim editor is by default uh, available in most of the Linux distribution. In case it is not, you can easily install or you can simply use vi editor also. Vim editor is the advanced version. So that's why we are covering the Vim editor right now. The name of my file is my file. Okay. Now I am inside a editor, which is called as a Vim editor. Now, as soon as I press I, you can see in the bottom of the console insert. So that means using the insert mode that is like the editing mode. So now you can start editing in the file. For example, this is an example of vim editor okay in this in this way you can you know either copy paste or maybe type and edit the file like this in order to come out from your insert mode using the escape key if you suppress the escape key to come out of the insert mode so now you can't see the insert anymore after then type shift colon so you can also see the colon in at the bottom wq wq means save and exit okay as soon as you hit enter okay so you come out of the editor now if you do ls so you can see my file has been created successfully and you can also uh, read the content of your file using the cat command very easily cat my file you can see this is an example of vim editor you want to edit the file existing file how you can do it again the same command vim and the file name my file okay as soon as you hit enter you will again enter the editor uh, mode to start editing you need to press i again okay you can still see the insert at the bottom now you can start typing like this okay now i want to show you something for example this is a very crucial or important file you have opened uh, using the vim editor and by mistake you have typed something. Okay. Now what should you do? So first step will be press the escape key to come out of your insert mode. Okay. Now you have to press shift plus colon. Okay. You can see here as well at the bottom and Q and exclamation mark or bang sign. Okay, that's it. And as soon as you hit enter, okay, and if you read my file, so there is no change. So Q and exclamation mark means quit without save. I have a very big file so that we can practice how to deal and working with the big files, right? So this is the very big file. If I do vim users, users.csv. There are so many lines, I think thousands of lines. Okay. Okay. Very first thing we will cover. This is a huge file, right? And if you want to directly jump at the bottom of the file, you just need to press shift plus G. Okay. Shift plus G and you will jump or, you know, uh, direct it to the last line or we can say at the bottom of the file. Okay. Now, if you're already at the bottom of your file, now you want to jump at the very first line. You just need to press G, G for goat for twice. So G, G, so you can see we are at 
first line now okay let's talk about how you can search any term in a file okay for example you have opened this file already using the vim editor okay it's a huge file and you want to search if a word is present in this file or not you can simply do it using the forward slash okay you just need to type forward slash so you can see forward slash at the bottom also here after then you just need to type the word you want to search for example i want to search candy okay so you can see it is already highlighted and jumped at the line where the candy is present there are some more instances or lines where the candy word is present so how you can check okay you just need to click n now okay after hitting the enter n so it will it will keep moving to the next in, instance like this see now we are on the 873 line okay so, so like this you can keep pressing the end to check or see the next instance like this this is only applicable for the forward searching if you are at the top of your file like this right and you want to search then only use the forward slash if in case you are at the bottom of your file like this okay right now i am at the last line okay now i need to search in the reverse direction okay from bottom to top i i need to type question mark question mark and then my word for example for example if i try candy again so right now you can see it started searching from 873 as soon as i hit or click the n and for next so it will you know keep searching and you know go to the next instance that is the 352 line okay so in this way you can search from bottom to top and top to bottom okay suppose you need to edit the file okay we have already covered that but i just need to cover few more things which may be useful for you which i personally use a lot suppose in this line okay my cursor is at this line right now okay i need to start editing from the next line how i can do as soon as you click o o for owl so it will start editing from the next line like this if you want to start editing from the previously line not previous line but above this line where the cursor is present so you can press simply press shift plus o so it will start editing you know the line above okay one very simple thing for example my cursor is at middle of the line right now i need to start from the end of the line okay to start editing from the end of the line i can use shift plus a so you can see i am under the insert mode now and my cursor is at the end of the line okay so this is very useful suppose you are already at end of the line but you need to start editing from the front i mean like the starting of the line like before 105 let's say so what you can do you can click shift plus i shift plus i so you can see i started from the starting of the line okay now let's talk about how to replace a word in our file okay again vim users or csv okay let's say you want to replace this word i mean like uh, this profession doctor i mean you can see a lot of doctor here i mean like this and this okay so if i want to change or replace the word doctor with all capital let's say i mean you can replace with anything i am just taking example like uh, all capital how i can do shift plus colon okay after then modulus sign and then small s that's it okay forward slash the word you want to replace in this case it is a doctor right so i will say doctor i want to replace all the doctor with the capital letter like let's say doctor like this or maybe doctors okay i'm just you know changing the spelling also after then forward slash and you have to press g that is for global right now you can still see the doctor but as soon as i hit enter so you will notice that on 1283 lines it has been changed and if you notice see the doctor has been replaced with the doctors now okay let's cover a few more thing 
for example you have made some changes okay in this case there are so many changes you have done we can also redo our changes okay for example just press escape i mean like come out of any mode just press okay right now you can see doctors in all capital right just press u u for undo your changes as soon as i hit u or click u you will see it all the changes has been reverted suppose you have undo your changes by mistake or accidentally and you want to revert again like redo your changes you just need to press control plus r so your changes will be redo like this see it has been changed to doctors now okay so again u for undo and control plus r for redo so, okay so this is uh, you can switch between the redo and undo also now let's see some more operation like how you can delete a whole line okay suppose on which uh, my the my cursor is there right i need to and i want to delete this line just press d twice d d see the 93 line is gone okay if i press d d again d d so 94 see the line is you know getting deleted like this okay and again you can just keep you know using uh, the u to undo your changes that is very helpful now we have just seen how to delete a line okay so deleting a line is not actually deleting but it is like a cut command so you are you can also use cut paste in that case i need to cut this line like 10921 okay i need to cut this line from here and paste in the bottom at the bottom how can i do okay i will just do dd to cut this line i will go to the bottom okay you don't need insert mode to paste okay you just need to set the cursor okay for example in in this line i want to paste just click p to paste that line okay so this is very useful how you can do cut cut and paste suppose you need to select and copy this line okay with 1093 id so what you can do just press shift plus v v for victor shift plus v so whole line has been copied now you can select and copy the multiple lines using the arrow keys down or up arrow like this so i have copied or oh sorry selected the four lines now okay once done you need to press y y okay yes so you can see yanked y means yanked means uh, it is it has been copied now for example i need to paste those four line here okay i just need to press p so four lines will be copied at the bottom okay now let's see for example you have this file we already have these ids in front of the row in case you don't have any ids or sequence number and you want the line number or sequence number in front of the row how we can do it we can use use the vim editor command colon okay you can see at the bottom colon set n u okay as soon as you hit enter you will see the line number in front of every data now you have already set it and you want to unset it so what you can do colon set no n u very simple it is easy to remember no n u okay you have it has been reverted now okay so very simple okay at the last very important thing within the vim editor this thing like uh, if you want to jump on a specific line number for example we do have right now 1000 lines i want to see the line number 500 how can i do that very simple okay this colon okay this colon very simple and after then you just need to give the line number for example 500 okay let's see 500 see i have i am now at the 500 line okay don't uh, focus on this because this is the id number this is not the line number okay so okay we can also verify like set a new okay then i will try uh, like 400 so see i i am at four line number 400 so in this way you can jump on a specific line using this method okay in the end let's quickly cover 
uh, working with the multiple files. Suppose I have two files, file one and file two, right? I need to open both the files at the same time. How I can do it? Okay, so I can use vim hyphen o, okay, file one, file two, like this. Hyphen o you need to use. If I hit enter, now you can see two files side by side, okay. And both these files are opened in Vim editor. So you can perform all the action we have seen so far. Right now, my cursor is inside the file file one. Okay. Now, if I need to move or switch my cursor to the file two, I just need to press Control W twice. Control W W. So my cursor is now went inside the file number two. Okay. Again. Control W W. I am inside the file number one now. Very interesting thing. Okay. For example, I need to copy this line and paste in the other file. I can do that here also. For example, okay. Uh, Shift V. Select this line. Press Y to copy that line. Control W W to okay move to the second file. Okay, and I will use p to paste that line so you can see this line has been copied from one file to another like this very easy okay i will just do yes and if you need to come out of and uh, so you can just do colon q exclamation and again q exclamation that's it you can come out of the both the files so this is uh, all about uh, the reading and working with the files now at the last comparison so if you need to compare two files side by side and see the differences and changes also, you can use vim hyphen d means differences file one, file two. Very easy. Okay. So you can see both the files side by side. You can also see the changes. Okay. So for example, in at the first line, there are same changes. So you can see in different color and which is highlighted and uh, the line where the content are same there is no changes so you can clearly see the differences for example see all right so this is all about the web editor if you find this video helpful please don't forget to hit the like button